Hello YouTube, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you, looking as fat and as nasty as I ever did. Jesus. Like my husband said, what the fuck? I just keep getting wider. I don't get fatter like that, I get wider. What the hell happened to me? Man, I gotta get skinnier. I gotta lose weight this year for my health and everything else. I mean, I've lost like 10, 11, 15 pounds, whatever, but that's not enough. Here comes their security across the street, I guess. They drive around in a little circle and they park over there. Get on my nerves. Anyways. I don't even know why, why they even bother. I'm doing this video is to say, hey, be with me on my security night and say hello. Like I was telling my boss. <laughs> I don't even know if I mentioned this in the last video. But I was more than pissed. I'm a woman by myself. There's a big guy down there. He's like over seven feet tall. Like he's like a shack kind of a guy, right? Nice guy. Don't get me wrong. Huge, right? I'm huge, but I'm fat. There's a difference. This guy's muscle. He's a big man. Then the other guy comes in at nine o'clock. Do you think any of them, like I told my boss today, I talked to him for almost an hour down here because I came and took over for him. I come early, way early on my shifts, try to always make sure I'm covered, do the right thing, make sure we have gas, everything. I bought supplies out of my own money, make sure each car has all kinds of antibacterial wipes, sprays, you name it, we got it. And in the bathroom, and I say butt wipes, but yeah, that's what it is. Because we don't have running water where I work here. We have an outhouse. This is the cleanest outhouse you would ever or what do you call it, on you'll ever experience in your life. I sanitize it all down. It's clean. It is clean. There's butt wipes everywhere. I actually got like little personal washcloths from Dollar Tree today. They're by Yardley. They smell so good in two packages of them. So you can wash yourself if you need to. Who knows if you're ever going to have an accident. Sorry, say you shit yourself here. And what do you do? You know? Yeah. Because my boss and them... Everybody's clueless to everything. You got to bring everything of your own, and I, I don't believe some. You know, when we're you're you're at this limited things, and you have no water or anything. You know what? Darn it! Our boss should be making sure we have a case of water here every week, and they don't. They're just they don't know what's going on. I love my main boss to death, but come on, guys, come on. You know. Because what if we get something in our eye or, or we shit ourselves or whatever? We don't have access to water. We're on this lot a lot of times 8 and 12, almost 13 hour shifts. You never know what's going to, who knows what's going to happen. You could cut yourself and you need to put water, you know, wash out your, you just don't know. It's not like being inside circumstances, right? I'm going to get some water tomorrow and put it in the van and I'm buying a company credit card. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that we have no water. And it's the hottest part of summer, too, coming up. Or is. It's kind of a little cooler. Right now. But next week's going to be all in the 90s. So that being said, I'm just watching people go by fools. Making sure nobody comes in here. That being said... Okay, that's seven foot guy, right? I want to know your opinion on this. I keep saying, everybody, like and follow. People watch this. I'm not getting no new subscribers. What's up with y'all? I want this to be a family situation. I'm kind of having a beef right now. I'm kind of bitching. But what would you do in this situation? I'm a woman down here by myself. I'm not armed right now. I'm going to get my CPL soon. I used to have it years ago. Anyways... The other guy comes in at 9 o'clock. Those two sit down there and talk their asses off. Does any, I told my boss, does anybody call me to see if I'm alive, dead, whatever? I think it's completely ridiculous. They shouldn't have to be told that. These are grown men. They should just want to check on me to make sure I'm okay. So basically, look at them. I'm going down there at 22, put my little... St or to 1130 because I got to be back here at 730 in the morning put my little stupid light back over there and I'm the fuck out of here okay 
Because I didn't have to, I was so I was furious hot there today. I'm just gonna calm myself down and not let myself get this mad over this company no more. Sometimes it's run bad, but you, you can't help it because of the help you have anymore. The help you have anymore is just fucking out there. These security guards and people anywhere in general, like people don't know common sense shit no more. I don't know what has happened to everybody. Where is everybody's brain gone, you know? Let me give you a for instance. I was in Walmart about a month ago. Something happened where I paid for all my food. I had four or $500 worth of food. My yogurt fell off the cart. I was leaving out the store as you go past that person that you show your receipt to, right? Okay. And this is shame on you, Walmart. My shit fell on the floor, exploded everywhere. I was so pissed off. Like, oh, I can go get another yogurt. No, I'm not leaving my $500 grocery, you dumb bitch. You call somebody or you get somebody to go get my yogurt while I stand here with my cart, ready to proceed to my car. I just spent all that money at your store. Shame on why don't people know common sense shit and I know if you ask the store manager at Walmart right now what do you do in that situation they would say exactly what I just said they sh that person should have called somebody or they should have went and got my yogurt while I manded my cart I'm not leaving my $500 worth of groceries I just spent in your store and where somebody can steal my food and then go get a yogurt she should have called somebody or her ass should have went and got it just stand there with their finger up her ass. You know, I'm just, that kind of stuff, I have no tolerance for. Zero, ignorant, stupid, not knowing anything, growing up, ignorant people. That's what I don't like. I don't care where you are, what you're, learn some shit before you're out in the world. Have some sense. And shame on Walmart. Why don't you tell these people when they're manning a door like that, hey, and, and if something like this happens in this situation, this is what you do. Why don't you... I notice that. And I work for Walmart for a time. No, nothing like that is said to anybody. Why don't you say, well, if this happens to a customer, you do this. If this happens to a customer, you do that. Why? Why isn't that said? That's real common sense shit. And that woman didn't know because she wasn't brought up right. I'm sorry, but I don't care. It's the way it is. Just dumb as a box of rocks should know better. So, yeah, I'm tired of bitching now. I'm going to reel myself back in. But, I mean, does anybody else ever get pissed off and mad like me? Does anybody ever, I mean, hear my friend, oh, let stuff go, let it go. It's hard to let stuff go when I see such rampant stupidity. It really is hard for me to let go. Yeah, I, I had $4, $5 worth of yogurt, gone, gone. Just chalked it up as a loss. You know, I should have called them sons of bitches, but I was so mad. I just wanted to, to keep myself from calling. What would you have done? What would you have said? Would you be mad like me after you spent all that money in that freaking store? And I mean, I it's every two weeks I spend that kind of money at Walmart. And in between, spend a ton of money. And I'm not the only one. I don't think I own the freaking store because I spend a lot. But I expect some kind of fucking customer service. Something. Something. Okay? These people walk around with their heads up their asses and don't... Don't know nothing. Don't want to show you nothing. God forbid if you asked one of the associates anything. They're on their fucking phones walking right past you. There's no excuse for that. But you know what? That's not all Walmarts. Okay? I'm sorry to say that's like inner city ghetto Walmarts. I'm going to say it the way it is. You go out because I'm going to tell you something. After my mom passed away, we couldn't find a laptop over here where I live in Lower Warren. We went out further, like, I don't know, 23 in New Baltimore area. Got top-of-the-line service, and we walked in there, me and my husband said, like, is this a Walmart? It was like nowhere the same kind of store the people were so nice in there that worked in there and and everything was clean and I'm like this is this a Walmart <laughs> you know everything and all over the floor and people just acting ignorant and stuff people 
contain your kids when you go to the store contain yourself don't act like you've never been in a store before that's another beef i have people look around like they've never been in a store before they're in another world they're running into you everything come on you, sh you grocery shop before you're you're an adult person get with it don't act stupid like you don't know where you are that's another huge beef i have with people they act turn stupid when they get in the store. They're so involved in what they're doing and thinking. They don't even know anybody else is around. There's no excuse for that. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable in my book. And that's what this video is going to be called. What do you call things that are unacceptable that other people do to you or you experience in your life? That's what this is going to be called. I need to calm down because I get furious. Uh, there's just so many other things that I could just go irate on all day. Just stupid shit, you know? Um, I notice a lot of things that are unacceptable is like other people do to me or do to you. Kind of a aspect what I'm trying to say. But God forbid if you do the same thing back to them, they'll fucking fall apart. That 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 isn't shouldn't be like that. Okay, I'll give you it for instance. The freaking foreigner people across the street from me hit my car three years ago when I first moved in, right? They hit my door. Because when you back up we don't have a lot of space. They just don't fucking flat out know how to drive, right? Because I see them now. They can't know they don't know how to cut your wheel when you're backing out of a driveway. They just go straight out and don't know what to do. And then they're this far from your car. I, ignorantly enough, I have a perfect driving record. I mean, per fucking fact, right? I don't know what happened to me a week and a half ago. It, they never were parked there. And I was at fault. I backed out of the driveway next door. And I didn't even feel nothing in my car. I swear, it was like a tap. Their door was caved in. Nothing on my car. I Man, I guess that's the newer cars or so. Mine's a 2006. I guess it's way heavier car. And theirs was a 2014, like a piece of tin can, right? I mean, like, I couldn't believe it when I, I'm like, you got to be kidding. It was a tap. It was a tap. And it was, their doors all caved in. So I said, yeah, I will get, my husband's a mechanic. I'm going to buy a door and put it on for them. So then I told them when I first talked to them, the father, and they're like, walk away when you're talking to them. Fucking pay attention, you dumb foreigner fuck. You know, I'm talking to you. I'm trying to tell you what I'm going to do to make it right with you. I don't want to ever fuck somebody over and do wrong by somebody, right? I'm just furious at myself that I hit their car like that because I don't do shit like that. I don't know what happened, what happened, why I did not see their car behind my car. I just am furious and it felt like a tap. I'm backing out of a driveway and my foot on the brake the whole time. What is their car made out of? Freaking Pringle can? So anyways... They send their kid wrong again. Number one, they always send their kids for everything. Are you going to fix my door? I'm like, look. And I was in the shower, so that really irated me. Everybody fucking comes in my house or shit happens when I'm in the shower. All the time. It's a fucking given. So then I'm soaking wet. I come running to the door. I'm like, look, explain this to your father. And that fucking kid's looking googly eye in the sky. I go, explain to your father. I get paid bi-weekly. Next Friday, I will have the money to buy his door. But that is not the problem. My husband has to come over there and cut her, look at your color code in the door itself and match the door up. We, we have to get a door. So it may not be right away, even though I have the money. We got to find the right color to match. We're going to get you a whole new door, right? And I know I told him. And then I try to tell the father that day and he's walking away from me as I'm talking to him I'm like what is wrong with these foreigner fucks you want your shit fixed but you won't even listen to me so I told him today I'm like excuse me sir stop walking 
okay? I'm trying to tell you what's going on so you know. Basically, I want to say so your stupid foreign ass won't send your 14-year-old kid knocking on my door again. Huh? What, my door? Pay attention the first time. Pay attention the first fucking 40 times I'm telling you, right? Okay. So I go, I will have the money. That isn't the problem. My husband's going out of town next weekend to race his car, which they don't know. They're too stupid. But he's got to find a door that'll match your door. That may take a day. That may take a week or so. I don't know. But we will have. The, I will have the money, and he'll be actively looking this week when I get paid for a door that will fit your car just as soon as we find one he he will put it on for you and take care of you i will let you know the minute we find one but he was like walking away from me as i was talking to him and i'm like can you stop i'm trying to explain to you what's going so i mean how would you guys feel i'm trying i go i want to make sure i do right by you and i think i would not take care of you but you're walking away as I'm talking to you and then you're going to come knocking on my door again then I'm going to punch you in the face and say fuck you on your way because I'm getting mad you try to explain something to somebody four and five times but they don't want to listen but then they're going to come knocking on your door where's my door I mean it's real simple what I'm telling you it's very simple again what would you think? What would you feel? How would you react to Dale? I mean, I kept my composure. I'm not mean and rude to nobody. But I'm like, can you stop so I can explain to you? I said that because I got pissed off. This is the, this is the third, second or third time I'm telling this fool and he's walking away from me again. And he's across the street walking away. Like, listen to what I'm telling you. Because I don't want to see your kid on my front porch again. Acting like, and you don't send a child to handle adults business you don't and that's another freak that's two doors down for me show a son her little baby kids this big can we borrow a lawnmower you couldn't even use a lawnmower anyways your little kids tell your mother to come down here and talk to me she won't come down she's too embarrassed or whatever her freaking drug addict self is and i'm not knocking nobody okay i'm not I'm not but you don't send little kids down again to handle adults business you don't you just don't do that that's just not right so yeah oh god i gotta calm the fuck down this is what my husband always says about me i'll give you the shirt off my back i'll love you i'll take care of you you do something real dumb or you hurt me i'll fucking kill you simple as that I, I don't have tolerance for stupidity. I really don't. But I love pe I love people, and I want everybody to have a fair shot at life. And you know, it's just some people like my my thought is, why do you got to tell people to not leave their children in a car or dogs so they don't die from heat exposure? Why should you even have to have a commercial like that? I don't want to hear no bullshit. Oh, I just ran in for two seconds. Fuck you. You don't leave a child or an animal in a car at all. Or I'm going to hang your ass and put you in there and roll the windows up and watch your eyes bug out. And watch you die. That's how I feel. Why is there such stupidity run rampant? Why does it seem to me that our parents and great-grandparents, there wasn't people dumb like this and got away with stupid shit years ago? It wasn't so prevalent. It wasn't so not like, why is there such dumb dumbness? And people are on the computer have lost all their common sense. And, and, and then people hide on the computer and are in complete rage and rip other people up. Why? Why? You, you have that much hate? Go take, you know what? It, don't take it out on regular people. Take it out on yourself. Straighten up your life. Okay? Don't attack innocent good people. That's another thing. A lot of people talk about, you know, on the computer, bullying and meanness. What What is it? You know, people can't even look in the mirror at themselves, but then they're going to get all big and bad and tough and grow some balls and get on a computer and start being mean to people. There's no excuse for that. There is no excuse for that. None. Zero. Zero tolerance. Zero. 
they should have a way where you can say constructive criticism on a computer, but if you're just flat out being mean to be an asshole and hurt somebody, one day I think they're going to have such a thing where they can give somebody a ticket on the internet or some shit. Because there's just people that are trolls to be just to flat out to do nothing but to be mean and be a horrible person. And there's no excuse for that. So, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. I'm sorry so I'm so abrupt. But, like, why do you have to tell grown people how to act? Why don't grown people or grown men or people... I work, like, these are security guards. This is not their fir first freaking rodeo, these guys I work with. This one of them was my old boss, you know? And then you can't check on a fellow worker to make sure I'm down here in this dark ass lot with all these trees and sh you can't just call or come down here and make sure I'm alright somebody's gotta fucking tell you something like that yeah I, I work with I guess a bunch of freaking idiot fools that no, don't know no better what has happened to everybody's common sense that's what I want to know that's what I want to know what would you do how would you act what would you say what would you say? What would you say? Would you just... I mean, my boss is going to have a meeting down the road, but he's got he's got to get rid of some other shit, and then he's going to have a meeting with all these people because they just do whatever the frick they want. They're running rampant around here where I work, and there's just no reason for it. Like on Sundays, this lady that's been here forever, she thinks she's the first employee. Why don't you act like you're the first employee and not act like an asshole? Me and this old man trade back and forth every two hours, every three hours. I don't leave him stranded down here. I come down here, I bring him ice, I let him go down there, see if he's got to go to the bathroom, whatever. She won't come down here. You're nothing special. I don't give a shit if you're the first employee or not. You should be trading up and down here just like we are, okay? It's called being fair and being a decent person. Wherever you work, wherever you are, it's called just being a human. Don't do not do something to somebody you wouldn't want done to you, right? That's, that's, that's about what I try to live by, and I see so many people abuse the hell out of that. And I want to know, that's what this is going to be called, this video. Don't do something to somebody you wouldn't want done to you. How do you guys feel about it? What would you do? What's your solutions? Subscribe like and share and tell me give me some answers to these pending questions because this stuff really you see has got me pissed off so let me know what you would do lisa sharing life stories with you you guys have a beautiful day please comment because i'm out of my mind